Let's take a tour of the iForm app. On your device, you're going to select the iForm app. When you open the app, the app is going to ask you for your username and password. Enter your username and password and click Sync. At this time, the app is looking for any forms or records that have been assigned to you as a user and will download them locally to your device. Once the forms are local to your device, an internet connection is not required to collect data. As you can see, we have a folder structure. Each folder represents a form that has been assigned to you as a user. To collect data on a form, simply select the form. The form will load and you can now start entering your data. When you're finished collecting a record, click Done. By pressing Done, all records and forms will be synced directly to the cloud if in a connected environment. On your device, once a record is collected, you can see a map view of where that record was captured. I can also go back to the list view, look at that record again, I can create another record by simply selecting the plus sign in the top. Also on the device, you have the option to select between collect and manage company admins and users that have been given the permission to view records on a specific form will be able to see the managed data. On the managed data, you're able to view all of your forms and all the records that have been submitted to the cloud server at any given time. On the device, I can select any form. On the device now is displayed all records that have been collected on this specific form. I can now select any record, view that record in an HTML format. I can also choose to either email this record directly from my device. If my device is connected to an AirPrint enabled printer, I'm able to print directly from the device. Or iForm Builder has a built in functionality that allows me to sign this form directly to another user on the account. On the device, I can also choose to set a filter. The filter is going to be based on the form structure. I can select a part of the form and set the filter. Once I click Save, only the records that have been collected and, filt and fit within the filter will be displayed. I can also see all of these records on a map view. On the map view, I can select any of the records and see that HTML view directly on, from the map. The iForm Builder Manage view also gives admins the ability to send a text notification between users at any given time. By selecting the button in the top right corner, I can now enter my information or the note that I want to share. Once I enter my, my notification, I can now select the user that I want to send this to.